Hi guys, it's Rachel and today I have a fun video for you guys as you can see because I'm wearing my Minnie Mouse ears. So um, as you guys know, I am obsessed with Disney. I have a Mickey Mouse tattoo. I have a Mickey Mouse up there. I've got lots of stitches. I've got Tsum Tsums. I just love Disney. I love Disney so much. And so, today I thought I would give you guys my top 10 tips when taking a Walt Disney World vacation. I have been to Disney World more times than I could tell you, and I feel like I have gathered some knowledge with my times that I have gone. So, I thought I would give you guys my top 10 tips of how to have a successful Walt Disney World vacation. Tip number one, stay on Disney property. This tip is great for many reasons. One, it keeps you in the magic. Um, staying on Disney property keeps you on Disney property, obviously, the whole time you're on your trip, which means that you never leave the magic. Even when you're not in the parks, you are still having a fun time with Mickey and his friends at the hotels. Um, my personal favorite hotel that I have ever stayed at is Pop Century, which is actually a value resort, so it's um, one of the more inexpensive ones. Um, I have stayed at nicer resorts than that. And I say nicer by price because they're all nice. Um, but that one to me has been the most fun. Also, when you stay on Disney property, you get to take advantage of the Disney Magical Express, which is Disney's transportation system. So really, if you drove down or if you flew down, you don't have to rent a car or you don't have to drive your car at all the entire trip. Disney will take you from the airport to your hotel um, and from the hotel to all of the parks on Disney property, including water parks and downtown Disney, um, as well as the ESPN Center and lots of other places. Tip number two is plan ahead. So this tip to me is very, very important. Um, so whenever you book your Disney World vacation, 180 days before you go, you get to start making dining reservations. 60 days before you go, you get to start making your fast pass plus reservations. So this to me is more important with dining um, because dining spots in Disney, sit down restaurants um, is what I'm talking about here, they fill up fast. So the 180 day mark is very important to make your reservations, especially if there's somewhere that you in your head have to eat at. Um, for me, that would be Ohana. Ohana is the best restaurant I've ever eaten at on Disney property. Um, so for me, I am like at the 180 day mark, must make reservation at Ohana. Um, places that really tend to fill up fast are going to be Cinderella's Royal Table. Um, that is actually the restaurant inside of Cinderella's Castle in Magic Kingdom. So that one does fill up super, super fast. Also places like Chef Mickey's are going to fill up fast. Um, like the character dining places. Those are the places that are going to tend to fill up faster than other restaurants. So if you have any especially character dining places that you want to eat, definitely put a countdown on your phone um, for that 180 day mark so you can make your reservation. Tip number three is Fast Pass Plus. This is so crucial. If you have rides you want to ride, make a Fast Pass Plus reservation because otherwise you will end up waiting in line forever, especially if they're the more popular rides like roller coasters or um, the bigger thrill rides, you're going to end up waiting in line for a long time if you don't have a fast pass reservation. So at that 60 day mark, make your fast pass reservations, figure out what you want to ride. And honestly, I would just recommend booking the more popular rides. Um, because the rides that maybe aren't so popular, you'd be able to get a fast pass uh, reservation for on the day after you use your three. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Disney allows you three passes, fast passes per day, per park. Um, so say you're going to Magic Kingdom one day, you're going to get three fast passes for that day. Once you use the, the three that you get, um, you can go to a kiosk in the park and make another one. Then you use that one, you can go make another one, so on and so forth. So the um, not so popular rides, you're going to be able to get a fast pass for that day. Um, but for instance, if you're a Magic Kingdom Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, you're not going to be able to get one. So it's important to make your reservation for rides like that um, in advance. Tip number four is to wear comfortable shoes. I recommend sneakers, but you know, snooks um, and shoes like that are also great. You're going to be doing a lot of walking. Um, when I went this past summer, I was averaging 
over 10 miles of walking a day. Um, so it is very, very important to wear comfortable shoes. I would definitely choose comfort over style when going to Disney. <laughs> right, tip number five is to make a list of the important things that you definitely want to do on your Walt Disney World vacation. This could include rides or restaurants or characters, but maybe make a list of 10 things that you're like, I have to do this before I leave, um, and make sure to do those 10 which for me just really helps to stay organized and to feel like I am accomplishing stuff that I actually want to do and not just kind of filler stuff, if that makes sense. Tip number six is to get the meal plan. Um, so Disney will give you this option whenever you book your vacation on their website. Um, and I totally recommend it because it ended up saving us so much money um, the last time when we got the meal plan. Um, there are different levels of the meal plan. The one that I recommend the most is, I think in the middle, it um, includes one refillable mug, one snack a day, one quick service meal a day, and one table service meal a day. Something to keep in mind is that you're not limited to using just those credits in one day. They give you a certain number of credits for your trip. So technically you could use them all in one day. You would just be paying for your food the rest of your trip. Um, or like some restaurants like Cinderella's Royal Table require two table service credits. So you use more of your credits to eat there than at other restaurants. Um, so we actually like had some donuts in our room and that's what we ate for breakfast. We didn't really eat out for breakfast much. I think we did one time when we went to Ohana and I am referring to like my most recent trip. That's why I keep saying you know, whatever. Whenever I'm talking about it, I'm referring to my most recent trip. Um, so yeah, that's the meal plan I recommend. Um, there are, there is one under it and then there I think are maybe one or two that um, are more expensive. Um, but that one worked great for us. Um, we only ended up, I think, paying for maybe two or three meals tops and it ended up working out really, really great. Tip number seven is to explore Disney. This means, you know, to not just hit, you know, the four parks, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. Disney has so much more to offer than that. You've got Disney Springs, previously known as Downtown Disney, which is awesome. Go down there, take a day, and just explore it. They've got tons of shops and activities and so many fun things that you can do. Um, Disney has places where you can play putt-putt or you can go play actual golf. You can go to the spa. Um, you can go and just explore other resorts. There are just so many things that Disney has to offer other than the four parks. They have water parks. I mean, they really have a ton of stuff. So when I say explore Disney, I mean go outside of the four parks and see what else that they have to offer. Tip number eight is to meet the characters. This to me is so not just for kids because this year when I went, I was 17, almost 18, and I had just as much fun meeting characters as I did when I was a kid. So if you guys have a character from a movie that you love, I definitely recommend asking a cast member when they're doing a meet and greet so you can meet them because honestly, it's just as fun to meet characters as adults as it is when you're five or six. Tip number nine is to take your time. There is no way you're going to get to see everything that Disney has to offer in one vacation. So don't rush and take your time looking around the parks and on Disney property. Not everybody gets to say that they've been to Walt Disney World, so I personally think it's super important to just kind of take it all in and to not rush and feel like you have to do everything that there is in one trip. Okay, and the last tip, tip number 10, is to just have fun. You're in Disney World, the happiest place on earth, so just have a good time. All right, guys, so those were my top 10 tips to have a successful Walt Disney World vacation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.